talk to each other, we communicate. I don't think we do anything out of the ordinary at all. It's hard to grasp just how remote Ravenseat is. Hidden amongst the hills and dales, this 2,000-acre farm has been a remarkable setting for the children to grow up in. Since my last visit, Raven has been the first of the Owen clan to fly this isolated nest. She's now at university in York doing a medical degree, but she's come home to see the family. Raven, I'm fascinated to know what it's like now. Mm -hmm. You're away at university in York, and then yeah. you come back here. Does it feel like, with all due respect, a madhouse? Yeah, but it always felt like one of them, to be <laughs> fair. I don't think anything's really changed. My house at uni is also kind of loud and stuff. It's just a different type. So it's not like I'm coming from somewhere very quiet to somewhere very loud. They're all loud. I'm just, I'm used to it. What about when people say, have you got any brothers and sisters? Because this, this is, there are, there are, of course, families as yeah. big as yours, but they're probably in the minority. So when someone says, how many brothers and sisters, and you answer, what's their reaction? Wow. All right, then. Um, OK. <laughs> so that was, that's like exact dialogue. Usually something along the lines of, and do you know there are all their birthdays? To which I can happily reply, no. <laughs> and then they're like, oh, do you know all their names? And I'm like, probably. Don't know. Because I have different names for them, you know. What, what are your names that you have for everyone? So there's Tilly, which is Clementine. Yeah. I don't know if there's any EDB. I don't know where that one came from. I'm pretty sure they have names for me as well, so. Yeah, we do. <laughs> we do. <That's... laughs> that bossy cow. Uh, no, I think, I think, though, you're an asset at university because of the lessons you've learnt here, because you were sending me pictures of all the things you were cooking and baking. She was baking bread in the halls of residence, and she was also budgeting and making the meal planner for how to feed everybody. So those are kind of things that I haven't particularly set out to teach you, but things that you've learned, because you've helped me look after the si your siblings. And speaking of big family, I mean, this... I, I have to comment on this now, because there, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine people, a cow, two dogs, and it's calm and peaceful yep. and relaxed. How... Who, who is... Who's controlling this? Nobody's controlling. How could you not be? Everybody's do. Everybody's doing their doing their own thing. Everybody's got space. When you, I mean, it looks like a perfect rural idyll at the moment. The sun's shining. The sun's shining. Almost everyone's here. The water's clear. Yeah, it's all fine. But just around the corner, there could be all hell breaking loose. Who knows? Mm. When you see this, Amanda, does it make you proud? Absolutely proud. I am so proud of 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 all this, the children, even Sydney, all even of you. Even Sid. Even Sid. Really? Even you. Oh, wow. We talk to each other, we communicate. We, we just, well, I don't think we do anything out of the ordinary at all.